The non-squeezing theorem, also called Gromov's non-squeezing theorem, is one of the most important theorems in symplectic geometry. It was first proven in 1985 by Mikhail Gromov. The theorem states that one cannot embed a ball into a cylinder via a symplectic map unless the radius of the ball is less than or equal to the radius of the cylinder. The importance of this theorem is as follows, very little was known about the geometry behind symplectic transformations. One easy consequence of a transformation being symplectic is that it preserves volume. One can easily embed a ball of any radius into a cylinder of any other radius by a volume-preserving transformation, just picture squeezing the ball into the cylinder hence, the name non-squeezing theorem. Thus, the non-squeezing theorem tells us that, although symplectic transformations are volume-preserving, it is much more restrictive for a transformation to be symplectic than it is to be volume-preserving. Topic background and statement We start by considering the symplectic spaces R2n equals Z equals X1, Xn, Y1, Yn, display style math bound R carrot 2n equals Z equals X underscore 1, L dots, X underscore N, Y underscore 1, L dots, Y underscore N, the ball of radius R, B, R equals Z element of R2n, ZR, Display style b r equals z in math bound r carrot two n z and the cylinder of radius r z r equals z element of r two n x one two plus y one two r two display style z r equals z in math bound r carrot two n x underscore one carrot two plus y underscore one carrot two each endowed with the symplectic form omega equals dx one dy one plus plus dx n dy n display style omega equals dx underscore one wedge dy underscore one plus c d o t s plus dx underscore n wedge dy underscore n note the choice of axes for the cylinder are not arbitrary given the fixed symplectic form above, namely the circles of the cylinder each lie in a symplectic subspace of R2n The non-squeezing theorem tells us that if we can find a symplectic embedding phi, b r z r then r r. The symplectic camel Gromov's non-squeezing theorem has also become known as the principle of the symplectic camel since Ian Stewart referred to it by alluding to the parable of the camel and the eye of a needle. As Maurice A. de Gossin states, Now, why do we refer to a symplectic camel in the title of this paper? This is because one can restate Gromov's theorem in the following way, there is no way to deform a phase space ball using canonical transformations in such a way that we can make it pass through a hole in a plane of conjugate coordinates x j j p j p j if the area of that hole is smaller than that of the cross section of that ball. Similarly, intuitively, a volume in phase space cannot be stretched with respect to one particular symplectic plane more than its symplectic width allows. In other words, it is impossible to squeeze a symplectic camel into the eye of a needle, if the needle is small enough. This is a very powerful result, which is intimately tied to the Hamiltonian nature of the system, and is a completely different result than Liouville's theorem, which only interests the overall volume and does not pose any restriction on the shape. De Gossin has shown that the non-squeezing theorem is closely linked to the Robertson-Schrödinger-Heisenberg inequality, a generalization of the Heisenberg uncertainty relation. The Robertson Schrödinger Heisenberg inequality states that V A R Q 
Q V A R P C O V two Q P plus two two Display style VAR Q VAR P G E Q cov carrot two Q P plus left frac H VAR two right carrot two with Q and P the canonical coordinates and VAR and cov the variance and covariance functions. <laughs>